Hi, I'm Butch Vig. I'm a music producer and a member of the band Garbage. This is my home studio, Grunge is Dead. I'm glad you're here in the studio today. I want to show you some of the features on the new plugin I've been working on. Let me show you how I might set up a session with a BVV plugin. I would typically set the low cut around 90, 100, I'm going to set it at 95. I'm going to leave the high cut wide open. I'm going to leave the mid dip off for now. I usually like to add a little bit of presence. A lot of air. I'm going to go up to about four on this. And the low, I'm going to bring in around 1.5. Just so you know, the low frequency is centered around 250 hertz, pretty wide Q. The presence is around 3K, and the air frequencies is a shelf around 15 kilohertz. I'm going to set the compression up around 30, and I'm bring the de up to around 30. The de is also a fixed frequency set around 6K. All right, I'm going to leave the saturation and the focus out for now. So I'm just concentrating on the core elements here of the EQ, the filters, the de and the compressor. Now I'm going to bring the output down a couple clicks here because it might start sounding louder. And I don't want you to get tricked into thinking it sounds better because it's louder, as sometimes happens to me. Um, I'm going to leave these out, and I'm going to leave the mid-dip out now. I'm just going to roll you through the verse, and I'll just bypass it back and forth here so you can hear the difference with it in and out. No, that's pretty subtle, but standard settings that I would use when I'm setting up a vocal. You can go a lot more extreme with all the parameters, obviously, but I just want you to kind of hear if you're going for something to just kind of pull a vocal out a little bit and be subtle with it and not go crazy. Let me demonstrate the mid dip now. I'm gonna set that around um, around 500 or so. Okay, and I'm gonna bring up the compression a little bit more, up to 40, and the DS are up to about 40. All right, I'm gonna go in and out again so you can hear the difference. Out. <laughs> So hopefully you can hear that. I'm trying not to go too extreme with anything, but I can hear it. And these have a lot more juice. All of the parameters, as you increase them, they get way more intense at the top end, especially the compression. The compression is modeled after some of my favorite compressors that are really smooth, but when you go up in the 80, 90, 100%, you can hear it really at work. It starts to get really intense and pumping. The same with the tube saturation and the solid state saturation. A little bit, sometimes in the 10 to 20% range, will give you a little bit of thickness. When you go all the way up, it's gonna get really intense. So right now I've got everything set for a very, you know, fairly, uh, natural sound on the vocal. All right, I'm bringing the parameters up a little bit more on this. I brought the low up to two, the presence up, and the air is now up to five. Um, just so you can hear the EQ a little bit more at work. But it's 
way too late, I'm too far gone with it, but God, oh hell, with my pants down. Crack the stash, send me crying in the midday sun. I miss my dog and I miss my freedom. All right, so those are the core parameters, the low cut, mid dip, high cut, low presence in air. I have the de in effect, and I've been messing with the compressor a little bit. Let me get to some of the other parameters here on the plug-in. One of the things that I found interesting in the process of designing this is sometimes I use multi-band compression and EQ. And the focus section down here is not really a multi-band, it's a mid-band EQ and compressor. And the 1K is basically bumping the energy in the 1K region on the vocal. Focus 2 is bumping the energy around 2K in the vocal. I'm going to default here to turn everything off, and then just I'll switch in and out on the mid-focus 1 and mid-focus 2 so you can hear what it does. So look the sun, I've been sitting here all night long Rolling rock over Buddha with the long horn Got a hole, rip a pocket up my uniform With the black watch, boys, get your heads down Oh, Judy calls, but it's way too late, I'm too far Gone with ain't for God, oh hell, with my pants down Crack the stash, send me crying in the midday sun I miss my dog and I miss my freedom now, I find those really useful. Um, a lot of times, I will try to find frequencies in the mid-range, and I really want to bring that out with compression and EQ. And being centered around 1K and 2K gives you a different fundamental, obviously, than the presence, which is centered around 3K. And the compression operates separately in the focus than it does from the compressor on the main output here. So look the sun, I've been sitting here all night long Rolling rock over Buddha with the long horn Got a hole, rip a pocket up my uniform With the black watch, boys, get your heads down oh. All right, cool. I'm going to crank the air frequency up pretty hot, going up to 8, just so you can hear what the top end does. And I'll go in and out on the bypass here so you can hear the difference. I've kept the focus off the de and the compressor about the same. de is a little bit hotter on this because sometimes boosting the air or the presence will bring out a little bit more sibilance. So check this out. So look the sun, I've been sitting here all night long Rolling rock over Buddha with the long horn Got a hole, rip a pocket up my uniform With the black watch, boys, get your heads down Oh! Judy calls, but it's way too late, I'm too far Gone with it for God, oh hell, with my pants down Crack the stash, send me crying in the midday sun I miss my dog and I miss my freedom Hopefully you can hear that. Those are air frequencies. I think one of the coolest things about the plug-in is the harmonic saturation. There's a tube distortion, which goes from 0 to 100, and a solid-state distortion, which goes from 0 to 100. Pretty subtle when it's run low, but it gets pretty hot when you run it all the way up. Now, when I run the tube saturation or the solid-state saturation at low, I usually leave the frequencies pretty wide open. But in this case, I wanted to have a low cut and a high cut because what I typically do when I start running them really hot in the mix, I'll usually cut some of the bottom of the fuzz or the distortion and I always shave some of the top down to around 6K or 5K, 4K, 3K, something like that. So it doesn't get super, super crunchy. Sometimes that crunch is great, but typically, as I said, when I'm trying to thicken up the vocal, I'll shave a little bit with the high cut and the low cut. These high cut and low cut filters are separate from the main high cut and low cut filters. So let me set the tube setting at a good level here. I'm going to set it around 18. And I'll just go in and out on the bypass here so you can hear it in action. So look the sun, I've been sitting here all night long Rolling rock over Buddha with the long horn Got a hole, rip a pocket up my uniform With the black watch, boys, get your heads down Oh, Judy calls, but it's way too late, I'm too far Gone with ain't for God, oh hell, with my pants down Crack the stash, send me crying in the midday sun. I miss my dog and I miss my freedom. Now, as I start cranking the tube up there, it gets pretty brash. So what I do, which I just did there, is I use the high cut and I brought it down to about 4,500. 
so look the sun I've been sitting here all night long All in rock over Buddha with the long horn Got a hole, rip a pocket up my uniform With the black watch, boys, get your heads down Now let's hear the solid state So look the sun, I've been sitting here all night long All in rock over Buddha with the long horn Got a hole, rip a pocket up my uniform With the black watch, boys, get your heads down Judy calls, but it's way too late, I'm too far gone with ain't for God, oh hell, with my pants down Crack the stash, and me crying in the midday sun I miss my dog, and I miss my freedom oh, oh, oh. So uh, I'm just trying to slide the tube up and down, the solid state up and down, and you can use both of them if you want. Let's just crank them both up here and see what that sounds like. So look the sun, I've been sitting here all night long All in rock over Buddha with the long on Got a hole, rip a pocket up my uniform With the black watch, boys, get your heads down So look the sun, I've been sitting here all night long All in rock over Buddha with the long on Got a hole, rip a pocket up my uniform With the black watch, boys, get your heads down So look the sun, I've been sitting here all night long Well, the tube saturation has a warmer characteristic to me than the solid state, and sometimes you want something a little bit thicker, and sometimes you want something more brash, which to me is what the solid state sounds like. They have different characteristics, and as I've been working with them, I like the, how they interact together. The vision behind the focus section was designed around multi-band compression and EQ, but it's just the mid-band. If you look at Focus 1, that's a boost around 1K with all the content that's coming in with a little bit of EQ and a little bit of compression bump. If you go to Focus 2, that's all the information in the track or in that particular vocalist around 2K. And they have different frequencies, slightly different cues. If you want something a little bit thicker and woolier, the 1K works really good, Focus 1. And if you want something a little bit more toppy and a little bit more edgy, Focus 2 works really good. I'll just flip between the two here and go in and out so you can hear what it sounds like. So here's Focus 1. I'll start with a bypass. So look the sun, I've been sitting here all night long All in rock over Buddha with the long horn Got a hole, rip a pocket up my uniform With the black watch, boys, get your heads down And here is Focus 2. I'll start with that also bypassed. So look the sun, I've been sitting here all night long over Buddha with the long horn Got a hole, rip a pocket up my uniform With the black watch, boys, get your heads down These, by the way, also sound really good on guitars because there's a lot of information in the 1K, 2K range in guitars that's sometimes being a fundamental part of the mix. So although this was designed for vocals, I've tried using it on drums, bass, guitars, acoustic guitars. I think it sounds pretty cool on a lot of different things. So please feel free to experiment. In the filter section, the low cut, mid dip, and high cut. The mid dip is designed to get rid of problematic frequencies. It sweeps from around 350 hertz up to around 1K. And a lot of times, depending on the song, the singer, the key, the tempo, the words, the phrasing, when you click the mid dip in, you're gonna hear it. It's got a minus 6.5 dB cut. It is not subtle. Looking back at my notes, I never cut the mid-range by 1 or 2 dB. It's usually somewhere between 5 and 7 dB. So we settled on a minus 6.5 dB cut because I think that's a good amount to pull out of the mix when you're trying to get rid of those problematic frequencies. So look the sun, I've been sitting here all night long All in rock over Buddha with the long horn Got a hole, rip a pocket up my uniform With the black watch, boys, get your heads down But it's way too late, I'm too far Gone with it for God, oh hell With my pants down Crack the stash, send me quiet in the midday Son, I miss my dog and I miss my freedom I hope you can hear that, I can hear it The de is one fixed EQ around 6K Because that's typically where I de -esser. If you need 
de-esser because 6K is not working. There's a lot of good de-essers out there, but that's where I almost always default to around 6K. And it's subtle when you use between zero and 50, and you get over 50 and it starts really kicking down the S's. But I find it useful in a lot of songs because I like putting the de-esser before the compressor and before the final EQ, so the S's don't start clipping out some of the sections in the, in the gain stages. There are a lot of compressors that I love working with. I love the Summit TLA-100, I love 1176's LA-2A's, I love the DBX-160. Um, and I listen to all those different compressors when working on the compressor in the BVV. And the compressor we have in here is pretty subtle, but smooth up through about 50. And when you crank it high, you hear it to really start to grab the vocal and it gets much more aggressive when you go really high in the 80, 90 to 100 percent range. Let me play a little bit here and I'll sweep it up. It's way too late, I'm too far Going with it, forgot, oh hell With my pants down Crack the stash, send me crying in the midday Son, I miss my dog and I miss my freedom Oh, 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 oh. I can hear that working When the breaths start getting louder than the lead vocal You know you're compressing it too much I've been starting to save some presets in here with different characteristics, some that are pretty straightforward, some that get a little bit more aggressive, some that get very filtered, and some that are meant to emulate blown tubes, ribbon mics, fat mics, things like that. Um, so I'll start with um, some typical lead vocal presets, and then I'll scroll through things here so you can see what they sound like. I'll start with just a typical lead vocal. It's way too late, I'm too far Going with it, forgot, oh hell With my pants down Crack the stash, send me crying in the midday Son, I miss my dog and I miss my freedom All right, let's go to... Let me go to... The, to you got a couple of air presets here. Here's a couple of air presets I've saved. So look the sun, I've been sitting here all night long On a rock over Buddha with the long horn Got a hole, rip a pocket up my uniform all right hope you can hear those um let me show you here's the filter section Here's the filter section a little bit harder at work. I got three presets I've saved in here and they get kind of more extreme. Check them out. So you can hear how crazy narrow you can get with that if you really start to crank up the low cut and the high cut. I've got some presets I've been saving called aggressive vocals with different settings on the tube saturation and the solid state saturation and then various levels slightly change between the EQ and compression and the focus. But let me scroll through a couple of those for you. Check them out. I like those. 
I started also saving some presets that, for lack of a better term, are just kind of fun to use. This is called Bad Tube. Sounds like a blown tube to me. I've got a couple of presets I've saved to emulate mics. Here's a FET 47. And here's, here's another preset called Old Ribbon. Kind of sounds like an old ribbon, right? I think there's some parameters within the BVV plugin that allow you to get a pretty cool lo fi sound or to get really cool saturated sounds. And with the filters at the front end and the filters at the back end, on the saturation, it really allows you to sort of fine tune what frequencies are coming through. So I think it's pretty flexible in that regard. I've started experimenting with the BVV plugin, um, bass, drums. I used it on a snare drum the other day. I've used it on guitars, especially the Focus 1 and Focus 2 are really good for uh, picking up the characteristics of a lot of guitar parts. Um, the filters are also really useful on just about anything. I tried using this on some overheads on the drums, which sounded pretty cool a couple days ago. And it probably sounds pretty cool on keyboards, too. I just haven't had a chance to really dig into that because I've primarily been focusing on what the vocals sound like through it. But you should get this thing and experiment with it.